Howdy folks, sorry for the wind, I'll go around this way. Yeah, I'm out of it now. We're at a mine location in Long Park and we're just waiting out a storm because we're near shelter. So we gotta kinda wait for this to calm down and give us some passage. I'm gonna try to launch another craft here in a little while but I really don't think there's really any point to it. But uh, this is one of the old mining facilities out on Long Park and Sherry has been wandering the area. She identified two other mines over in that location and that location that are also of concern. So I'm going to try to fly those in a little bit, but there, there's a couple mines down on the end of Long Park down there. And as you can see where the road comes into Long Park, it's better from the, but up in here, you see the S turns coming down as it, as it comes over the hill. Just on that nape, there are two walk-in mines. Yeah, that storm's coming. There are two walk-in mines that are uh, accessible and we'll be using. So we're just waiting here for the weather to come. It's going to get us. We accept it. It's no big deal. But I'm just not going to get out there on the trail right now until I can uh, know that it's safe for us. But this is what the mining facilities looked like back in the day for uranium. And that's what they mined here in vertical drop shaft mines. They brought their ore up, poured it in, went to the rocket box, and was hauled out. So, pretty simple operation, but uh, the uh, this is what you call the winch room. They had one time had a winch under there with the powerful engines, but you can tell they were also running it sideways through here. And, uh, you know, that's what lets the uh, miners in and out of the mine. The, not only does the ore go up and down that shaft, but so does the miner. It sounds fun, doesn't it? So, I'm hoping we get some calmer weather, but we'll talk to you later. Peace.